All right, so today we're going to be talking about how I got into Piggy. If you scroll down on my channel, you'll know that I've been on YouTube for three years. Yeah, three years. So before I just done a Q&A announcement, which I didn't end up doing because I was like, screw that, we need Piggy. Two nights before I made the origin story, I was playing Piggy, even though I had no idea what it was. I joined, I think it was, um, oh, what's it called? I forgot. Oh, I forgot. It's like, I think it was chapter 7 before Carnival. I've actually forgotten and I feel so stupid because it's the uh, chapter where Bunny, like, stays. After I played it, I was like, whoa, this game's pretty cool. It's, like, based off Peppa Pig. I realised it was Granny, but Peppa Pig. And two of those ideas just being so random, I was like, yes, I love that. That's just iconic. So, right off the bat, I was like, this game's awesome. It hit me, right? Because there was only a few cutscenes. There was only three before Carnival. So I was like, what's the origin story? I thought, based off somebody making origin stories, and they weren't actually that good. They were just, like, really random. They weren't believable, if you get me. Like, they were, like, they had the voiceovers, which are still cool. Like, I'm not saying, I'm not disputing that. But it didn't seem legit, and it was just random. So... I decided, why not make a Piggy origin story that's actually believable and might add something to the story. I remember the night I uploaded it, it was on like 200 views and I was like, okay, it's doing normal because my videos before, they only did like 100 views, 200. So I was like, yes, doing usual. But I woke up and I just, it genuinely it changed me as a person like i'm not being like cringy and be like oh look at me i got so many views because i'm not that type of person i i never expected it to do so well but i woke up and just it was so amazing it's probably one of my favorite days it's like waking up and seeing snow out your window and going, oh my god, it snowed. Unless it snows all the time in your place, then I guess you can't really say you've experienced that. You just feel so proud of yourself. You have so much confidence in what you do. And after doing it for like YouTube, where my old channel, I pretty much got bullied for it. In the hallways, they used to shout my name, make fun of me. You know, if I could choose between not being bullied, you know, or doing YouTube and being bullied. I would choose being bullied and do YouTube because I'm at my happiest when I make videos. It just, it's something I've wanted to do ever since I was little. I woke up and it was on 27,000 views. That may not seem a lot. You know, if you watch big YouTubers, that's nothing. They get that in 10 minutes. But to someone who's only getting 100 views and has been doing it for such a long time, getting 27,000 in just a few hours and waking up and checking your phone and seeing a massive amount of like YouTube notifications, you know, your DMs blowing up. It's one of the best feelings in the world. And I would not change it for anything because without having Piggy, I wouldn't have, you know, met my boyfriend. I wouldn't have the friends I have now. I learned how to animate on Roblox Studio. You know, I learned how to use editors that I never thought I'd ever be able to use. I learned how to animate. You know, I tried doing piggy animations and then never uploaded them because they look like utter trash. You know, and I never really, in my creaky video, I said I'd never really use Flip a Clip. I had used um, animation programs on my laptop. They all failed because they were too complicated and I don't have the brain skills for that. It's so much joy. You know, all that hard work paid off. All of those nasty words people said to me, all of the horrible things and like the bullying I went through, it all paid off in that moment when I woke up. And you know what I did? I straight up called one of like my best friends. We called and I said, look, look how well my video is doing. And I remember she was so shocked. Later on through the day, my parents put my video on the tv they were shocked they were like this is really good i did the origin story of zizzy and i just kept going with piggy content even though i gave up on the origin stories my last origin story was let me see my last origin story was the origin story of pickle rick skin 
because I decided there and then I'm not going to do origin stories anymore because of the drama that happened last year. I'm going to say, looking back now, it's nobody's fault, really. I think it was just me being immature, trying to claim something that wasn't mine to begin with. Apologies, I've already been given, but, you know, there's, I still got exposed for it, even though I had apologised. Piggy has been a good, you know, experience, but it's also done a lot to, like, my mental health personally. I've had dramas, it's not been the best, trust me. So, I had the drama with the origin story, so I changed my content to Piggy memes. I had the drama with someone else who was copying my Piggy memes. Copying my... Kind of copying my thumbnails. I had the Piggy meme problem where they were copying, like... Some of the thumbnails are copied, it's genuinely obvious. And I'm not calling out names because it happened, you know, back in August last year. And I'm not resurfacing it, I'm just saying... Overall, Piggy... Really has helped me feel more confident in what I do but it's also brought me down because the whole thing in I think it was May time uh with the origin stories I was really down um because I had no one to talk to about it except my siblings but they didn't really understand because you know YouTube is a very complicated thing like people think it's easy it's really not it's a serious video whoa serious video on my channel whoa there was a lot of creeps uh, i'm just gonna say i i had this one person who stalked me for a full month on all of my socials making new accounts every day just to message me and they said some really nasty stuff let me tell you it was not nice at all you could honestly tell what their intentions were and it was not nice it's it's difficult because then after the piggy memes i changed it to theories then just random stuff you know then i went to animation and it's not gone wrong the animation i feel like i want to keep doing it hasn't gone wrong yet it's just a, such a changing experience and watching your views go up and people texting you congratulating you and saying how good your videos are it's a good feeling thank you so much for watching this video um if you like this video you can go check out my others make sure to subscribe and like the video and if you want to put a nice comment you can do as well um i'm also on twitter instagram and i have a discord server so go check them out um link is always in the description for them and yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!